Hey you guys, welcome to another video. Today what I'll be doing is showing you how I make my quick weave um, blunt cut bob wigs. Um, I'll be using, um, of course, black label in the color 99J. I'll be using two 10 inches, um, a large dome cap, and of course, pump it up. 30 second bond. So I already put the cap on the mannequin head. I got my stand from Amazon. Um, my best friend gave me this mannequin head. And that's it, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray down the cap. Okay, and I'm gonna use a pack and a half. When I'm doing a wig, I use a pack and a half to make it, um, well, on the bob, I use a pack and a half, and on the, the bang, I use the other pack, the other half from the other pack. So, um, pretty much like I'm doing a regular bun in, ear to ear, and your first track is always gonna be your guide. Remember, I always tell you guys that. ear to ear never go all the way down especially when you're doing the weave well in my personal preference um let me back the camera this one. ear to ear ear to ear ear to ear even though it's not a ear but you guys get it from the one side of the cap to the other and i'm sitting in my room that's why it looks different from my usual videos on the beginning of it just to tack it down because this is not like a, a regular head it's a little bit more complicated i should say to putting the tracks down not really complicated but you definitely have to use spritz When I make wigs, you guys, I always glue my wigs. I'm not no sew person. Like, I know how to sew, and if it's requested, I will sew, but on a wig, not on a person's head. I will sew. But sewing, that's not, I don't, I'm not, I don't like it. You can get the same amount of wearing in, uh, for freaking sewing as you do a bunion if you do it right. And that's my personal opinion. How I do it is the same way I do the hairstyle. If you see the video that I uploaded about doing a this style on a person's head, it's the same way. I always um, go ahead and bun the hair from from line to line because it's lines in the cap. So line to line, I'll bun the hair and then I'll once I'm done with that, I'll cut it, then I'll flat iron it, and then I'll do the bang. And that's a lot easier for people who never done this style. Hold the rest of the hair in half. That way I can make it a little bit fuller. And this doesn't, this take me about 30 minutes, if that with flat ironing and everything. And be, believe it or not, these really sell really, really fast. And to all my subscribers or followers, followers, feel free to ask, because I definitely sell them to anybody. I don't care if you out of state or whatever. If you want this wig, you can get it.
and this ring light right here, the holder, it moves around a lot, so if it get out of um, the sight of the camera, I'll catch it as soon as I can so we can get back in frame so you guys can see So let me finish bonding this and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've done, I've bonded. So far, we're gonna go from line to line and I have a few more and I'm gonna go like that. Okay, so I'm done bonding everything now. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my turn up the heat flat iron protector protection and just a few sprays because it's very oily and you don't want to over oil here. So when I cut, of course, like I do on my the hairstyle like this. And we're cutting like that all the way around. And when you're cutting this, you cut it on the you cut the length depending on what the client wants. That's pretty much how you get it. And you always know I always cut one side a little bit longer that way in case one side is shorter than the other, I can clean it up. And that's pretty much how you do this look. So boom, it's cut. Now you see how this is, I'm just gonna clean it up. That's all. Cause that one is a little bit longer. So, um, let's flat iron, make sure everything is even. Come back here. Come back here. Um, so, now let's go in and show you how I flat iron Okay, so my flat iron is hot now. What else I'm gonna use is um the, the fruit um, fusion coconut water weightless cream rinse. This is really good on here. It's it's not heavy. It's very light. It gives the hair a good body and a nice shine. And I can put the link in my in the description of the video.
So pretty much, just going straight down. Try to flat iron in smaller sections because it gets them all the hair, not just parts of the hair. It flat irons all the hair, so the smaller the sections, the better. Not too small, but not too big. one more time just to get it very very sweet and I also got this flat iron from Amazon if I'm not mistaken I'll put the link in if this is the one I got from Amazon okay so now that I've showed you how I flat iron I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video and I'll be back when I'm doing the bang okay you guys so I am back I've already flat ironed the hair and this is how it looks so now I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve my bang So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Oh, of course, starting off. Just spray myself with the glue. Sideways C formation. Just like that. Side to side. happy with how far I went back so now I'm gonna show you how I just fill in the circle so I'm sorry y'all
following that pattern all the way around. Just comb it periodically that way. If anything gets loose, you can fix it before you finish closing it in and not able to fix it. And just like that. Just like that, and boom, you're done. Okay, so it's closed in. Now, let's do the bang. So pretty much, once I close it in, I'll just go around, comb everything down. Put a little bit of wax stick on the top layer of the hair. That way all the flyaways can lay down. Don't overdo it though, because it's easy to with this wax stick. I ain't put none around the bang part yet because I definitely don't want that to be um, oily. But that's kind of screw up the entire loop. Oh. So let me pull that back some. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead. Okay, so I parted the bang out, and I'm just gonna show you the cut. You can go from the center and go down. And don't do it um, fast like I'm doing it, I'm sorry. You're just gonna go down like that, break it. And when you get to the bottom, you do more of a cut versus a rake, because you wanna pull that hair off. how you go with the first layer and you're just gonna flat iron and you're gonna kind of bump it let's put a little bit of mist on it what I don't like and just take that off whatever I don't like whatever I feel is too long or whatever the case may be I'll just take it off just like I showed you when cutting it you're just gonna break the and chop when you get towards the bottom of the hair and remember when you're doing a wig like this it's better to make it too long than too short because you can always cut too long you cannot fix too short unless you take everything out okay so the next layer I'm gonna do the same way I'm gonna twist it this time, and I'm just gonna shave it off. And we are using the, the longer end. We're using that part, not the short part. So the short part gives it a more blunt cut. This gives it a razor look. Mist. Grab those layers that you just cut. So, same way. 
and we, you can put a, just a little bit of the wax on it just to make the hair as sleek as it can be not a lot because you don't want that that wax is heavy and you definitely can screw up a hairdo with that so now you see how that bang is got that little bump but not too high and let's go with the next section same way okay so let's flat iron that first because some of the hair might not be for the bang and we don't want to make that look stupid or mess up the hairdo i should say so same way razor down razor down and you're just gonna comb like that and you can see where you are so let's do the same thing over here before we cut let's just flat iron go again because now we're gonna just go all the way around and flat iron the parts where we put the wax at so we can lay everything down then I can comb everything into place and we can see what we need to do from there that's pretty much just cleaning up before you end the day's work and the reason I'm holding it because this this head is this the, the um stand is the what goes in the side of the mannequin's body is too long I mean it's too it's too narrow so I have to hold it to keep it from moving. I have yet to find one that actually fits this one for my other ones, and other ones that I have. But anyways. Straight down. Same way. All the way around. You see how that hair smooths out so good? Because of that wax, that's what it's for. So it fly away scraping the unscrapable if you want to say that so here we go go down now we can see where we need to cut see those long pieces razor 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 Choppy, you just go through the hair, the bang part periodically, like in different spots, random spots, and just razor it out. And honestly, when you're doing a choppy bang, there, you can't mess it up because there's no specific way it should be. That's the good thing about it. And when you're chopping it, we're going to use this end. The longer end versus the short end. The short end is blunt. This is razor. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's go with the spritz. A little bit of wax on your hand and rub down. Okay, so let's start with the closing piece and all the way around. And boom, there's your first weave. Later, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs>